and welcome back to Lee Reader. My name is Lee, if you hadn't already guessed, and today we're doing a book review. Today's book review is The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson, which I love this cover. It was why I picked up the book in the first place, is the cover. This is also your spoilers warning, because in order for me to review the book properly, I've got to let go of a major part of the book. So if you haven't read it, I recommend you come back when you have. My overall thoughts is that it was a good book but it was just missing something to push it to being great. So the outline of the book is two boys with two secrets, the first being David Piper, the second being Leo Denton, and how their lives intermingle and clash when they meet at school. So let's look at the positives. Firstly, the characters, both Leo and David are excellent characters. The idea, firstly, of David being a young transgender protagonist is just great. I thought he was well written. I thought the way he acted in his like inner monologue scenes was great as well. And the same goes with for Leo Denton. I thought he was, again, well written, and he has these inner monologue scenes where he's very tormented, um, very sort of pulled by um, how his life is going, and I think Lisa Williamson really captured that. I thought she wrote them very, very well. And also the parts of the book where they interact, I think, were really great. There is one particular chapter which really cements them together, and I think it's very well written. I think Lisa Williamson captures the per moment perfectly, and I think just all together the two characters are brilliant. I also like the general arc of the story and the way that it flowed. I thought it flowed very well. Um, they had like intermingling chapters so you'd get maybe a couple of chapters of David, a couple of chapters of Leo, a couple of chapters of David and it would go like that and again I thought they were brilliantly written. Now I do have some minor problems with the book. I don't know if it's because I went in with such high hopes but overall I felt it lacked just that little bit of something. Firstly, the book was very slow to start. It took a while for you to understand what uh, Leo's secret was, and when you do find out, it's great, but it's not until, like, really into the book, like, over at least halfway or maybe a bit further, and I think that should maybe could should have come in a little bit sooner to help understand what was going on, because his chapters just felt a bit confusing. Also, in the very first chapter, David proclaims that he's a boy and he wants to be a girl. Great. I loved that, but then it got a little lost. I felt like you kind of diverted from that and it's more about him being at school and just sort of getting on and I didn't I don't know I didn't I didn't feel that part I it, again it took it took a while for that story to warm up and really catch fire again the thing is when they did catch fire they really did catch fire and it was and they were great and then I was really involved in the story but it just took a little bit too long for it to get there secondly I really would have liked David and Leo's relationship to grow a little bit more organically um, some felt sometimes it felt a bit rushed the things they were doing I was like would I do this with the person that I've only known for like a couple of weeks I don't know but again, I think they should have maybe just known each other maybe a little bit longer or time should have passed a little bit slowly. And I think that would have made it, again, it just would have made it that, feel that bit more real. Um, but apart from those minor things, I really, really, really did enjoy this book. Overall, I'm gonna give this book a three out of five stars. Like I said, it's a very good book and a very good story. It just took a little bit too long for it to warm up. But apart from that, it was wonderful. So the book is out now, you can go and get it from all good bookstores, and if you're looking for a good read, um, if you're an LGBTQ viewer and you're looking for something new to read, I really recommend it. I think it is a good story and I think everyone should at least give it a chance. If you have read the book, leave your thoughts down below and we can have a little discussion. Also, I'll put my link to my Goodreads review, which is a lot more detailed, um, in the description. And you can go check that out. Thank you for watching this review. I hope you guys are wonderful and I will see you on Thursday with a new video. Goodbye. And like all good Marvel films, there is always something good at the end. Also a little spoiler, uh, Thursday I'm going to be starting a new series called Books I Love, where I'm just going to be talking about books I love and recommending them to you. The first book I'm going to be recommending is The Book Thief. So, if you've stayed till this far, you'll know what's coming up on Thursday. So, I'll see you then. Goodbye.